start a debug session in eSquared Studio, first, launch eSquared Studio with your selected workspace. If you don't have an open project, you'll need to right-click on your project and select Open Project. Make sure the project has been built in debug mode. To do so, select the Hardware Debug option next to the Build button on the toolbar. Once the project build is complete, select the arrow next to the Debug button and select the Debug Configurations option. Go to the section on the left panel titled Renaissance GDB Hardware Debugging and open the section, if needed, using the triangle on the left margin. You can then select the debug configuration for your project. If two options are listed, be sure to pick the one labeled without the release keyword. You can now check the following debug settings. On the Debugger tab, check both the debug hardware and the target device to make sure they are correct. On the Connection Settings sub-tab, check the main clock source, the external crystal frequency, and the power section. The power section is important because we'll have to configure the debug hardware to supply power to the target at the correct voltage if the target has no other power supply. Otherwise, the option should be set to No if the target is being powered by a different source. Once you've checked all your debug settings, Click the button on the bottom labeled Debug. After a few moments as the debug session launches, you may see a dialog box asking you to confirm that it's okay for eSquared Studio to switch from the build perspective to the debug perspective. It is recommended that you check the box to remember your decision and select Yes. At this point, eSquared Studio is in a debug session and you are connected to your target device. For more information on eSquared Studio, including documentation and downloads, go to renaissance.com slash e2studio.